guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so happy to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So happy to have you here. If you happen to stumble on our channel, this channel here, we do lifestyle vlogs, cooking tutorials, whatever. So welcome to the channel. So today, y'all, this is what we're going to be doing. So my stove is my stove top. It's filthy and it needs to be cleaned. I clean the stove every day, but it's just those stubborn, oh, disgusting buildup grime that just never goes away. And when you cook a lot, you have a higher chance of developing and accumulating that grimy stuff on the stove. So that's the case here. So today I was decided that I feel pretty good enough to clean it. And I thought, you know what, let me pick up the camera and show you guys what I'm going to do. So what I have done was I went on YouTube, just like many of you guys do, to figure out a way to actually clean my stove that doesn't require a lot of chemicals that can be harmful to me, my baby, um, and something that actually effectively works. And I found a few videos that a lot of people try. So I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna capture it on camera and give you guys an opportunity to see how it works as well. And if it works for me, and you guys like what you see, maybe it'll work for you as well. I went to Walmart and picked up the <laughs> ingredients, the cleaning supplies. So basically, uh, it calls for distilled vinegar, any distilled vinegar, white vinegar. That's all I saw. I didn't see anyone using um, apple cider vinegar, so I don't know if that works or not. I got some pure baking soda. I grabbed some copper coated scrubbing pads. And you see some people, they use the stainless steel scrubbing pads. So I just grew up using these. So I grabbed these instead. I already had a spray bottle, all purpose spray, spray bottle in the house. And I got some latex house gloves, which I did not have in the house. So let's get cleaning. So first we're gonna take the distilled vinegar and we're gonna measure it about one cup and you wanna do half and half, half and half vinegar, half and half water, just to dilute the vinegar. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the vinegar to the multi-purpose bottle. And I'm gonna use my little funnel here because I am prone to messes and this is gonna help me not make such a big mess. So here I'm pouring the vinegar inside of the multi-purpose bottle. And after I do that, I'm gonna head over to the sink and I'm going to measure about one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, half and half. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the multi-purpose bottle just to dilute the vinegar a little bit. Vinegar can be very, very strong and it's a great and wonderful cleanser. It helps deodorize, it helps clean surfaces without ruining them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give that a really good shake to mix the ingredients together. Now we're gonna go ahead and head over to the stove top and this picture here is underneath the stove top. And to access that, you just simply lift the lid of the electric ceramic range and it's kind of like the hood of a car, you can just pop it open. And you can see here where the gunk and the grime has pretty much baked underneath. So it really is gonna take some elbow grease to get this clean. You can also see here on the ceramic stove top the gunk and grime that has built up over a period of time that has caused so much gunk and grime that you cannot simply just wipe it away. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the vinegar and water mixture. And I like to saturate the areas with the vinegar and water mixture because this is gonna help when I apply the uh, baking soda it's gonna allow it to adhere. And the baking soda and the vinegar mixture together, they activate each other, causing an oxidation, which helps lift some of the most stubborn stains ever. And in doing so, it cleans and also deodorizes. This is an amazing combination because for one, it's safe for the environment and it's not harmful to the body like a lot of different chemicals. And then I go over and I spray more of the apple cider, excuse me, the uh, distilled vinegar mixture just to allow the baking soda to adhere even more. In the meantime, I went ahead and pulled the, some people call these eyes, um, 
from the stove and I just soak these in warm water. And this is what they look like. And the soap that I use is my regular dish soap that I love so much. And this is the Dawn Ultra Platinum four times more grease cleaning power. And I swear by this stuff. This stuff is amazing um, when you're cleaning your pots. Um, it really, really breaks through grease. So I just poured some in the water there and just added warm water. And I've been soaking these for about an hour now. Um, I pulled these from the stove very first thing and they've been soaking. And when they're done soaking, you know, I'm just gonna wipe them off and rinse them off and let them dry completely because they have to go into the outlet and I wanna make sure I don't get electrocuted. So I let the baking soda and vinegar mixture sit for about 15, 20 minutes or so. And as you can see, um, it started to settle. So now we're gonna go ahead and start scrubbing. Let me go ahead and grab my gloves. So as I began to scrub and scrub the ceramic surface, I realized that it really took quite a bit of elbow grease to get these stains out of this surface. I was almost starting to get a little bit discouraged before, before I realized that I had a paint scraper that I could use to help get rid of some of the stubborn buildup. So I grabbed the paint scraper and boy, did it make a difference. And I was a little bit worried that it would ruin the surface, but it did not. So after I did all of that scrubbing, it was time to do the rinsing. So I grabbed a bowl, put some fresh water in it and a clean cloth to help wipe away a lot of the buildup and the dirt and the grime. So basically I just grabbed the washcloth rang out some of the water and just begin to just completely wipe away some of the grime and the dirt that built up as well as the baking soda and the vinegar mixture. As you can see, the ceramic surface is clean, guys. That build up, that grime that accumulated over a period of time was gone. Now, like I mentioned before, it took elbow grease, but it is gone. I then poured out the water that I used to rinse away the dirt and grime, and I'm going to go ahead and get a fresh bowl of water because I'm going to use that water to get rid of the, the grime and the baking soda in those hard to reach places that the washcloth could not get. So I just got my measuring cup because it was more precise and just rinsed away the grime that was in the little crevices. Now I had to be really careful during this process because water was going underneath the stove top. So this was something I had to be very mindful of not to overfill it. Now it was time to clean underneath the stove top. And if you remember in the previous pictures, it was pretty grimy under there. So after I let the um, the mixture settle for a little bit. I just went ahead and sprayed a little more of the vinegar and water mixture just to break up the baking soda and to add a little bit more to it so it can oxidize a lot more to make cleanup a little bit easier for myself. So after letting that sit for another five or 10 minutes or so, I went ahead and started scrubbing. Now I'm using the copper brush to break up some of the easier um, dirt and grime that's accumulated but then I had to transition to the scraper and again the scraper did not fail me it got rid of some of the most stubborn built up stains and grime that accumulated and you can see here in the in the video here that it was just lifting like isn't this so satisfying I don't know if you guys are anything like me but just watching things like this is so satisfying to see something go from horrible, horrific, gross, disgusting, to absolutely amazing. Then I just went ahead and got my kitchen brush and just cleaned up behind those areas that I couldn't reach. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the washcloth and a fresh pail of water. And as you can see, just like I did with the top of the stove top, I just wipe away the dirt, the grime, and the baking soda and the, oil, the water and vinegar mixture. Now to make the surface even more shiny, I pulled out my Windex and I sprayed the surface with the Windex just to give it a nice, good once over, just give it that nice shine. So then I went ahead and closed the lid and I repeated that process on the top of the ceramic stove top. It's ceramic, so the Windex was not going to harm the surface at all. 
Now we're gonna go over to the sink and remember those, um, those eyes that were sitting in the sink? Well, you can see that the watercolor has completely changed. That soaking was very helpful. And I'm using my kitchen brush here to get rid of some of those stubborn stains. Now, if you don't know how to remove those, I'm gonna show you here. You just basically pull those out and they easily pop right on out and that's how I was able to access those. So back to the scrubbing. I went ahead and did this method this way to get rid of the excess grime that built up there. I then went ahead and rinsed off the soap and the, the grime that was left over. And I let these sit out for about an hour or so um, just to make sure they completely dry. I went to Walmart and purchased some brand new drip pans because the ones that were on the stove were absolutely disgusting. And there was just no point in trying to clean those when these could be easily replaced. It was just as easy to reassemble the eyes as it was to disassemble them. And after all of this hard work, I am completely finished. This is a proud moment right here.